for you. So, um, again, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is three kind of examples <coughs> of the square root. And we're going to be dealing with square root, we're going to be dealing with cube root, we're going to be dealing with fourth root, and we're going to be dealing up with some numbers you know, to a higher power. So I just want to kind of go through some tips here. First of all, um, there should be some important numbers. When, you, when we're looking at square numbers, numbers that can, we can take the square root of, we want to make sure we're familiar with them. So Alex, when I look at uh, 4, again, as I mentioned, guys, if you do not have an index, then we can assume that index is 2. All right? And what this is basically saying is what number multiplied by itself gives us 4, which hopefully you guys can know that 2 is 2 times 2 equals 4. So the square root of 4 is just 2. That is just your answer. However, when we look at 18, there is not a number that multiplies to give us by itself to give us 18. Because we know 4 times 4 is 16, and 5 times 5 is 25. So there's two different ways you guys could do this. You guys could use the factor tree, which would be to factor down the problem. Um, or the other way that um, we're going to learn in this class is to break it down by a product of a square number and a non-square number. So if you guys see here, 18, is 18 the same thing as 9 times 2? Yes. yes. Can you take the square root of 9? Yes. yes. So the square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 2. We well, say, well, Mr. McLogan, why don't, why don't you break it down into 6 and 3? Good, you can. Is 6 times 3 equal 18? Yes. But can you take the square root of 6? No. Can you take the square root of 3? No. So what you're, what you're trying to do when you're simplifying them is you want to find the product of that number with a square number. Well, what are square numbers? 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, um, 49, 64, 81, 100. I'd actually highly recommend that you guys write these down because those will become very, very useful for you if you don't already know those by heart. But I will tell you, when I was in third grade, or fourth grade, when you learn in third grade, maybe multiplications, third grade? I remember when you had to memorize, whatever you had to memorize your multiplication tables, I still remember, these are what I memorized first. I never learned It just takes a little bit of practice and memorization. Um, and then there's a last example, ladies and gentlemen, we have five. Um, if I was going to try to take the square root of 5, first of all, we know there's not a number or a whole number that we can multiply by itself to give us 5, nor can I rewrite 5 as a product of one of these numbers. So therefore, this is just simplified. And we'll just leave it as that. Okay?